Hello, I am Zarkoon, this is World of Warships Legends. Today I've got a game for you on Estuary, Domination Mode, and we're in the Tier 7, American Tech Tree Battleship USS Iowa. Now this was a game that occurred at some point during my stream last week, Friday. We notice a few familiar names across the team roster here. I do use countdowns in chat to allow people who are watching the stream to get a chance at getting in the same game as me, and that usually makes for quite a bit of fun. So we've got a few subscribers in the match with us, including Juice in his enemy Iowa, who we are going to come up against later in the match. But this is going to be a tour de force in our Iowa. We're going to essentially stomp through the majority of the enemy team at the front of the line with a bunch of support behind us in the form of many friendly ships. For now though, we are pulling a move that I like to pull when I spawn here on the southeastern spawn of Estuary. There's an island right here in front of me. I like to pull behind it and come around the other side facing the delta cap circle. Usually when you do that, you find enemies sailing further toward the east, and you can get some pretty good shots on them. There is a Benson in the cap. We need to take note of him. He is a danger torpedo threat. He's going to prevent us from pushing too aggressively, too quickly into the delta cap. But we do have a friendly destroyer also in the delta cap contesting it against the Benson, who has smoked up and is now out of sight. Since the Benson is there, we don't want to push too far around this island. I'm not sure whether I'm in torpedo range of the Benson, but I suspect I am, so I want to play this pretty cautiously. A New Orleans pops up. We take a shot at him as he tries to escape behind cover. Doesn't quite make it. Loses 9,338 hit points in the process. Could have been worse for him, though. Could have been better for us. We're pulling back now on the off chance that the Benson has launched some torpedoes, and we notice that we have a lot of reinforcements coming up from the middle southern spawn of the map. They're going to enter this cap circle and reinforce our flank here. I think the friendly destroyer exited the cap circle momentarily, possibly because of the threat presented by that Atlanta, which does have radar, and I do think the Atlanta and the Benson are in a division together, so they're obviously coordinating. The Atlanta, though, has made a mistake. He's losing an awful lot of hit points after pulling around that corner there, so he's backing up, but... He's just prolonging the inevitable, essentially. Looks like the New Orleans feels bad about us not having a target, so he pushes around the corner of the island, presenting flat broadside. Of course, we shot at the Atlanta and got two overpens. But when we shoot at the New Orleans, he has a little bit more armor. So we get two citadels and a devastating strike. The New Orleans goes down for our first kill and our team's first kill of the match. Always nice to start off with a devastating strike like that. Now we've got a bunch of ships pushing into this Delta Cap versus a Benson and an Atlanta. One of those ships on our team is the Indianapolis, who has radar. So he uses it to spot the Benson, who immediately starts running for the hills, but he's going to remain visible for quite a while. The American radar lasts for an eternity in destroyer terms, and we look at the team roster there, we do confirm that the Atlanta and the Benson are in a division. Their names are so similar. So we're going to line up a shot on the Benson with the rear turret. We take it, and out of the three shells we send his way, Two of them actually hit for full penetrations, which, very interesting. Usually that doesn't happen. The Atlanta pulling around now. We're going to shoot at him with the front two turrets. We permanently remove one of his 5,000 guns from the game, 
but it's not quite enough to take him out, so that honor goes to the friendly Indianapolis who helpfully spotted the Benson with his radar for us. Looks like we're going to sail out of that this cap circle here. That's, of course, not ideal. We would have liked to participate in its flipping and gotten credited with one of the capture ribbons. Very good in terms of XP and credit earnings, but it's not going to be too bad. We're still going to finish pretty nicely even without it. The Benson has appeared yet again. He's in big trouble. He's the only ship over here. We take a shot at him, and we send him to the bottom of the sea as our second kill of the game. Now that this flank is clear and the Delta Cap is being secured by our teammates, we're going to push down this corridor of islands and try to see if we can get any shots on unsuspecting broadside battleships. So just like that, and right on cue, the Alabama appears. He's not giving a flat broadside, but he's giving us enough to hit him pretty hard. So we're lining up the shot, kind of wondering if he's going to beach himself, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We take 9k off of him, which is decent, and then we follow up with a shot from the rear turret that looks like it completely misses. The Alabama disappears momentarily behind that island. I'm going to take a quick look at the map here. On the western side of the map, we have the last remaining five enemy ships versus one single solitary battleship to the south of the Alpha Cap. He is not going to be able to withstand that much firepower for very long, and we do have a one-ship advantage. We're even on caps. We're going to lose that one-ship advantage very soon, so we're moving in as these guys are distracted with focusing down that friendly battleship who is going to give his life for the good of the team here. We notice to the right of the screen that a battleship is creeping around that corner. It is the enemy Iowa, driven by Juice, who we know very well. But we've got eyes on this Roma, who looks like he's about to present flat broadside to us again. We release the shot, perhaps a little early. It hits the Roma for a very disappointing result, and the Roma and the Iowa shoot back at us. They do some pretty insignificant chip damage in the grand scheme of things. We're going to maintain this angle and sail closer to this island. We want to make sure that the Roma doesn't have shots on us before we turn to fully bow tank this enemy Iowa. Now, it looks like the enemy team is making a bit of a mistake here. The Alabama and the Roma are pushing around this island to come at me in the exact same direction as this beleaguered enemy Iowa in front of me. There is a Gascon who is in a position to have a crossfire opportunity on me and my team, but my team and I have created a crossfire on this Iowa, who is now turning in order to try and dodge the torpedoes. That forces him to give me pretty flat broadside. So I take advantage of that by destroying him and sinking him for the third kill of the match. The Alabama has come around the corner. It looks like he's realized that this wasn't actually the right place to push into now that he's come up against basically my entire remaining team. So he's turning around. He wants to get out of there. But he's not going to be able to escape without giving somebody his flat broadside, and that somebody is going to be me. Of course, the Roma has decided to come out at this time now. He's on pretty low health, and he's going to be giving me flat broadside as well, and actually a flatter broadside. So we hit him there for four full penetrations, not a citadel, unfortunately. Potentially, that could have been a one-shot kill, but RNG denies us. Now, though, take a look at the enemy's positioning here. They've got two battleships right here versus the rest of my entire team. Obviously, the Kagero on the enemy team is in the Charlie cap. He's in the process of flipping it to bring the capture points up even. But 
with the four friendly ships, including me, that we have here shooting at these two battleships, and them being completely unreinforced by their remaining teammates, we're going to be able to take them out quickly. The Roma is only on a sliver of remaining health, so unfortunately our rear turret isn't in position. It is turning to the starboard side of the ship, and we're not going to be able to shoot the Roma with it, but we don't need it. The front two turrets reload, the Roma goes down for our fourth kill of the game, putting us on the precipice of scoring the coveted Kraken Unleashed medal. And the Iowa, by his positioning, is going to make it as easy as possible for us. Instead of going around behind those islands to the starboard side of his ship, he has decided to sail in front of them, which forces him to give us a flat broadside, unless he wants to turn in and risk perhaps ramming his ship. We hit him pretty hard there for four solid penetrations, and we take off a lot of his hit points. Unfortunately, no Citadel. That's okay, though. He is not going to be around for too much longer. He takes a nasty chunk there from one of our teammates. We're hoping that we can secure the kill on this Alabama and get that Kraken. But we are going to run into a bit of a problem. That Kagero has finished capping the Charlie Cap, and he's coming this way now to try and reinforce his Alabama, who is on his last legs. There are torpedoes coming our way. Luckily, they're going to miss, so the Kagero is not going to be able to derail our attempt to get a Kraken. We will have it. Unfortunately, we're not going to have it with that shot. We're going to have to wait. Don't want to be giving the Alabama this much broadside. We did take out one of his turrets. We're turning back in, though, just in case he is able to fire at us. We don't have a lot of health left, but we are able to take out the Alabama and get our Kraken Unleashed medal. Now, though, it's just us versus this Kagero, who has launched one set of torpedoes at us already and is smoking up. He can still see us. We're going to turn in toward his smoke cloud, anticipating that more torpedoes will be put into the water. And it looks like we are correct about that. There are four torpedoes, but only four. The Kagero, of course, has eight. So he certainly got another set in reserve. We hit him hard with the front two guns. It's not enough to take him out. We expect four more torpedoes to be sent our way at point-blank range. They are. Can we get the rear turret on target? Yes. We kill the Kagero just as his torpedoes hit us, so we get an extra bonus six kills, finishing the game with 153,517 damage done. A Kraken unleashed. That extra kill. Nice result in the USS Iowa. A true tour de force, and it just goes to show what can happen when you push in concert with your team and focus your firepower later in the game in an imbalance against the enemy. Now only the Gascon is left all alone to face our three remaining teammates, and he is sunk in short order. Pretty nice game, I hope, in the USS Iowa. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done that. We're nearly at 2K, and when that happens, we'll have a special stream with the Hive Hound. So, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.